What's up everyone? John Renger from Techno Buffalo here. Apple unveiled their new MacBook and with it is ushering in a new technology which you're going to see everywhere. It's that single teeny tiny port. It's called USB-C. So I thought I'd explain what USB-C is and what you need to know about it, whether you're a Mac user or not. So I present to you, friendo, four things you need to know about USB-C. Let's start with number one. First, it's USB. Actually, it's part of USB 3.1. Uh, one of the really cool benefits of USB 3.1 Type-C um, is that it offers enough juice to power your laptop as well as really anything else. Uh, that was the case with USB 3.0 on some products like the Nova Yoga 3 Pro, which also charged via USB port. But the main difference here is that it provides way more power. So not only can you plug in your computer to charge via the same port, there's also plenty of juice left to charge other devices. The USB IF group in charge of the standard said that in August, USB Type-C is, and I quote, robust enough for laptops and tablets, but slim enough for mobile phones. It offers power with up to 100 watts or 20 volts, which is just plenty for a notebook, um, but also plenty of benefits on the data side too, which brings me to point number two. USB 3.0 offers a pretty nice data transfer bump over USB 2.0 and 3.1 to Type-C connectors does the same thing. I should expect data transfer speeds between USB Type-C devices up to 10 gigabits per second, up from 5 gigabits per second offered on USB 3.0. Although I will say on the new MacBooks, Apple's actually with software downgraded that to about 5 megabits per second for right now. But the theoretical max of 10 megabits per second is almost on par with the first standard uh, of Thunderbolt. Uh, it's also backwards compatible, which is why Apple is selling you dongles that allow you to connect older USB 2 and 3.0 devices uh, to your notebook. And as Apple told us, the data transfer rate is high enough that you can attach HDMI, VGA, and DisplayPort adapters to that single USB Type-C port. Number three, it's reversible. You can just plug it in any way you like, which is way helpful. You don't have to look and be like, oh, that part with the color, I gotta make sure I put that on the bottom. No more about that silly business. You just put it in any which way you want. Let your freak flag fly. Number four, it's going to be freaking everywhere, not just on Macs. The USB IF has more than 757 partners according to their website, and they list them all. Uh, big names, things like Acer, Dell, Samsung, a company called Goggle, uh, Asus, Motorola, and way, way more. So expect this new standard to come to laptops, phones, tablets, anything else that needs a plug. Uh, in recent years. So it's the first wave of just a totally new standard. I like the standard. It's pretty, it's small. I wish I didn't have to use dongles to use it, but it is here. So what you gotta know, it's fast, you can carry a lot of power, it's reversible, and it's going to be absolutely everywhere. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Just want to give you a short video to tell you what you need to know about that new port since you're gonna hear about it if you follow stuff in the tech world. Give a thumbs up for new IO. Until next time, I am John Renger from Techno Buffalo. If you like Techno Buffalo videos, and I hope you do because we love making them, hit the big subscribe button right here and you can get the latest as they come out. See you guys next video. We stopped the video just real fast to thank our friends and good peeps at Lenovo. If you guys thought yoga was just about cat, crow, and dog poses, you, my friend, are terribly mistaken. Let me tell you about the Yoga Tablet 2 Pro. So this thing's got a built-in projector that actually can put up to a 50-inch image on any wall or screen, essentially just mobilizing your home theater. Uh, it's rocking a 13.3-inch 2560 by 1440 pixel display, front-facing stereo Dolby surround sound speaker, and powered by Intel's latest Atom processors. This thing is absolutely perfect for work and play.